Well, hello, everyone. Uh, interesting topic today. Um, it is uh, bringing peace to an extreme, and I do mean extreme, anxiety case is filled with panic attacks and things like that. And assisting me today and to tell this story is Sonia Novinsky. Say hello, Sonia. Hi, everybody. Okay. Sonia is um, the director of the Gary Craig Official EFT Training Center in Brazil. And as you see, she speaks not only Portuguese, but, but English very well. And she has a really fascinating case that we're going to discuss here. It will outline for you the very the value of, of uh, the unseen therapist, very extreme case. Um, and she's going to give us the details. But as a summary, as a summary to get us started, um, Sonia, this is a 16-year-old boy in Brazil who whose pulse, his heartbeat, was almost consistently around 180 beats a second, or a minute, I mean. I, I get that right? Yes, perfect. Okay. And normal is around 60, so it's way up there, mm -hmm. and it's there almost all the time, but things get even worse if somebody is going to like come to his room or visit him, he's going to have a social interaction. Yes. I said that right? Yes. He needs 10 meters distant. If a doctor will see him, has to stay like 10 meters distant. A, if a doctor is going to examine him, yeah. 10 meters away has got to be. Okay. Well, okay. I want you to talk a little bit about more about the severity of this is really important to do because we have a very happy ending here but we need to know just how severe this is this isn't just some a little bit of anxiety case uh no uh, he, I, he was bullied and he was kept in his room by his father and talk a, a little bit about that would you yes uh his father uh divorced from his mother when he was like four years old and his father was very lost in with this divorce and he kept him almost like in a prison he was afraid of letting him play with the kids uh, visit some friends he was he went to school and closed in his bedroom this was all his childhood and he couldn't see his mother so when he was ar around 16 years old and uh, he has a lot of bullying in school because he was too shy. He didn't know how to play, how to talk uh, and make friends because he couldn't go out. So he starts uh, being more shy and more shy and suddenly he couldn't go to school anymore because he has like a panic attack in, in a class and he was sweating and sweating and he ran away because he was almost dying which so so he's pulse. having he's having a pulse of 180 okay yes. which is three times normal and he would be sweating all the time and he had a big you didn't say the words but it, my term social phobia at school yes. uh, okay. resulting in panic attacks and for those not familiar with panic attacks when you're having when you literally think you're going to die i mean it's it it is that it is that severe did i portray mm -hmm. this right yes yes and then he decided not to go to school anymore mm -hmm. okay so how did you come in contact with him? Did he contacted you or how was that? His father. His father was giving up because he was desperate. The boy couldn't go out from his bedroom and he tried psychiatrists, medications, nothing helped. He couldn't even go to the psychiatrist. As well, and if he did, it had to be 10 feet away. Or, yeah. uh, excuse me, 10, 10, 10, 10 meters, meters away? away because yeah. if not, he was a uh, sensation of dying and a sensation of he had to run away, so yeah. it was very difficult. 
and the only thing he liked was fish. Fish. So, okay. Fish. And like, he has like, like, like fish in an aquarium. Yeah, aquarium. He has six yeah. aquariums. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He has six aquariums. Yes. So his friends were fish. Fish. And he, well, the only contact with uh, something alive was putting his hand on the fish. And we, we work up with this. We work in the aquarium. <laughs> Oh, uh, in the phone. We we didn't see each other in the beginning, just on the phone. But I give instructions to him, and he try, and he feels good with the fishes. Okay. Now, to begin with, I believe you started him with tapping rather than EFT tapping rather than the unseen therapist. Mm -hmm. Yes, because his father uh, knew uh, that. Uh, with a friend, someone talked about myself. They live in the north, Brazil, in Piauí. It's a very, it's an extreme north, Brazil. And they talk about me, and he called me on the phone, and he said, "You have to talk with my son." And and he knew about the tapping, so I decided, okay. Uh, so, in the first to to make him trust me, I decided to teach him to tap. So I I knew that if he liked the tap, he would accept myself. So it was like this our beginning. We tap okay. for anxiety and for some events or a lot and, of things. And you were getting some results yes. from tapping. Okay. But eventually you got his acceptance this is if i'm understanding this right to bring in unseen therapist which is our our more powerful mm -hmm. yes. spiritual healer from within and so on mm -hmm. yes all the time even in, when we did do, did tapping and he, when he did tapping uh i was uh bringing unseen therapists to pacify his system, more for the symptom, to pacify his system, to uh, help him to forgive his mother that because she left home and forgive his father because he was so close to all his child at, at home and forgive himself because he was very guilty about himself because that I... So we did, I pacify his heart in the beginning. Like this. Okay, so you, you got some beginning results there. Good good yeah. results, yay. Okay. Uh, but then we, we get down to the bullying and other things that were really important. The separation from his mother and mm -hmm. other uh, really important things that are solidly yeah. behind his panic attacks and his sweating and his bullying and all of that we brought in yeah. unseen therapists and now you get better results still and so that all pretty much if i get it right just after a while went away he's now i think age 19 yes no he's okay 19. and the heartbeat is 60 beats a minute not yes, 180 to totally normal no sweating no sweating no no not fear okay and, and he's he's back in school doing yes. well and and socializing and yes he's he, now where he wasn't before we didn't talk about yes. this, but, when he's the first day in school he decided to sit down in the last chair yeah. but now he's among the other kids just yeah. in the middle and he's now able to have a girlfriend, which really yeah. wasn't the case before. Too shy kind yeah. of thing. So Yeah, she invited the uh, girl to go to the movies and eat an ice cream. And they, they, they went. Yeah. And okay. he's trying to, to flirt her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To fl flirt with her, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, flirt with her. <laughs> well, we should, it's always good when we can put a little romance in these things, you know. So, yeah. yes. So anyway, well, that's that's really a fabulous 
story and it's a great turnaround and it's one we want other people to understand even the even the most severe of anxieties and there's even some agoraphobia mixed in with all this and it's only friend were fish and now they're people and and his heartbeat is normal no more sweating all, all of that all of that is just vanished with the help of your help and the help yeah. of the un unseen therapist yes god's help through unseen therapist i say yeah. but uh, he's fighting jujitsu it's a fight no? and it, a lot of contact body contact contact and he was he couldn't have any body contact before and now he had he liked to be in contact with so to summarize that he's now doing jujitsu, which is a you know a contact sport. Whereas before his psychiatrists and doctors had to be ten meters away, but now he's actually in contact yeah. sports, and this is all fine. Yeah, and he traveled to fight in another seat. It was in, this was impossible before. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Well, thank you, Sonia. That's very illuminating. I hope our audience really, really got something out of this because, I mean, that's a big move. And this is the kind of thing that is possible, you know, if you have good training. And by, and by the way, there's a, a bunch of essential links below this um, video, a free ebook about our newest advancement, The Unseen Therapist, you know, free newsletters, advanced training, and all of that is in the essential links. So I would, I would urge you to, to visit them. So with that in mind, I'll uh, see you next time.